to be Stormy, and here is your weekly horoscope for the week of April 30th. This is actually a pretty chill week because we've got the sun over here in Taurus and the moon over here in Capricorn. So this is this week is kind of low key, but it is exciting as well because it's festival time, right? This week on the first, we celebrate Beltane, which is the Celtic fertility festival. We celebrate the Pleiades, so it's a wonderful time for new beginnings, new starts, all of that good kind of stuff. Then we've got Cinco de Mayo happening. This is a wonderful festival here in the United States. Now I know many of my friends who are from Mexico have said that doesn't, that's not a day for us, you know what I mean? And so if it's not, if it's not a day you don't celebrate, that's fine. But here in the States, we will be having festivals on this date. We've got birthdays happening this week, my birthdays this week, potentially your birthdays this week. So that's very, very exciting. So let's take a look here. We have that happening on the first. Then we get here to May 5th and there is a trine between the sun who's over here in Taurus and the moon who is in Capricorn. This is again such a grounding energy that it makes me think of grounding things. We're talking about fertility, new life, new growth this week. This is a wonderful time for new things. Maybe we have some new travelers arriving. I mean, it could just be such a beautiful week. Now we've also got happening this week. Oh, how could you forget what they were talking about it? On the 5th, NASA, and you know I have my eyes on NASA since they said Pluto wasn't a planet. Um, <laughs> NASA is supposed to be launching um, Insight this week. It should be happening on the 5th. Now this is going to be where they launch, um, they launch a lander. It's called a lander. I think it's called a lander. Maybe I made that up. A lander onto Mars. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to study Mars. They're trying to study Mars's formations and things like that and kind of compare it to Earth and see how, how were these things, how did this come to be? We're studying more about Mars. So it's a really cool kind of week happening for us. It's also very grounded. There's just so much fertile energy happening this week that I would tell you one, depending on how these placements hit your chart, if you are not wanting to have children, this is a wonderful week to pay attention to your body, pay attention to your birth control methods. And two, if you are wanting to have children, if this lines up in your chart, this is just such a wonderful midway energy to celebrate and join with your fellows in celebration this week as well in a very grounded earth energy kind of way. All right, guys, like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you next week.